Hello everyone. Today, um, I'm responding to a question from Jillian, um, and she's asking about the compound ratio grouping and how to uh, calculate it uh, from my video on the how to create a mirror matrix for salary increase. So I'll be happy to make this video to explain that in more depth. So compound ratio um, is an HR compensation concept that's uh, measuring the um, relative competitiveness of one salary compared to the salary structure. So the formula itself is pretty straightforward as I have highlighted here. Uh, it is an employee salary divided by the salary structure midpoint, which means that like for example, take this uh, spreadsheet for example, if I need to calculate uh, the compound ratio for any given employee, I would need to know um, the base pay for that person and the salary structure midpoint for that person. So let me give you an example and actually let me link that to um, another uh, chart or another video that I did about uh, making a salary structure floating bar chart um, with for employees so you can see how we actually derive the comparatio. So uh, this is a video and this is the source file for the video. So in this video, I have given um, um, a, sal a sample salary structure which is uh, by job grades, and for each of the job grades, you have the minimum of a salary uh, range, the midpoint of the salary range, and the maximum of the salary range. So this is a common kind of table that you would see for a very typical salary structure in our in an organization. So let's assume that uh, for our illustration purpose, our employee here um, is in job grade five, um, which means that uh, if you apply the data we have in the seller structure sample, the midpoint is 95,000. So let's put 95,000 there. And then the base salary is just whatever it is. So in our case, um, maybe let's assume it to be 75,000. Uh, and then basically you can just calculate the compound ratio to be the base salary divided by the salary uh, structure midpoint. And then you get the ratio and then apply the percent, you will get the percent of a 79 percent. And then let's maybe just do another one, say this job is job grade 9, uh, which means that the midpoint will be 200. And then let's say this person is at uh, 225,000, uh, 200,000. And then if you copy the formula down, you will get a comparison of 113. So this is really how you calculate the compound ratio. And um, so which you can see that uh, if your base pay is the same as your midpoint of the salary structure, you will get compound ratio of, of 100. And um, aggregately, in general, we uh, try to, usually the company try to aim for an average compound ratio of 100% because that means that your average employee base salary is quite aligned with your salary structure midpoint, which means that your salary structure midpoint um, can cover um, the range of your different employees pretty well. Um, we can also see that more intuitively from this chart. So you see here we have employees at different levels. We have the range for the salary, like the lowest being the minimum, the highest, uh, the midpoint, uh, and then the highest. And then basically in a chart like this, we try to see if first, if we have a lot of employees out of the range, if we do, then that means that's a problem. Like we have, we may have been overpaying or underpaying our employees. Like in an ideal situation, all employees should be in your salary range from the minimum to the max. And the next thing you want to look at is for each, for aggregately, are your employees close enough to the midpoint? So for example, let's take this dot. This dot is very close to the midpoint of that range, which means that the compound ratio is close to 100. 
This dot, however, is at the max um, of the salary range, which means that the compound ratio is definitely more than 100. Um, and generally, very uh, generally, like the range uh, for the compound ratio is around 80 to uh, 80 percent to 120 percent, which which is 20 percent up and down. I've seen companies with 30 percent up and down or even 40 percent up and down, up and down uh, which depends on how how broad you want your range to be and um, as long as it can be justified for business reasons that's perfectly fine um, but you still need to make sure that your range can relatively good to represent the actual pay range for all your employees in all kinds of different levels so this is how we calculate the compound ratio uh, range. Um, uh, sorry, the compound ratio uh, percent for each individual employee. And actually, after you have the compound ratio, um, it will be very easy to group them using this formula um, with whatever percentage that makes sense for your company. So it's an if statement, and it will group your compound ratio into any kind of uh, compound ratio groups that you can uh, you want to define. It can be 80 to 120. It can also be maybe 75 to 125. It will be depending on the specific situation of your company. So this is how I come up with the compound ratio for individual employees and the grouping for each individual employees. And um, I would also strongly um, recommend you to check out the playlist that I have created for first uh, the HR analytics for merit metrics and also the HR analytics for salary structure where um, I have discussed um, more on the salary structure where you can also um, have a better understanding of the salary structure and how it can link back to the compound ratio uh, calculation. So this is what I want to share today and Jillian, um, I hope that uh, this video will be helpful to you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.